Uh, I was interested in the comments of our colleague from Oklahoma, ranking member. And indeed, I think the uh, minority senators, Republican senators, raised an interesting question in this last week. They asked the question, could EPA provide additional analysis now that would provide significant additional insights relevant to this markup? And that's an important question to ask because certainly we want to have a full understanding of the provisions that are in the chair's mark. We want to have a full understanding of the differences between this bill and the Waxman-Markey bill. And so EPA came in yesterday to answer that question of whether they could do additional analysis that would provide uh, significant relevant insights to the markup of this bill. And their short answer was no. Now, perhaps the thing that troubled me most was that after my colleagues asked the question of EPA as to whether they could do additional analysis that would provide valuable insight, they didn't come to hear EPA's reply. I wish my colleagues had attended in order to hear the answer to the question they posed because I think had they heard EPA and perhaps explored their own questions in follow-up to the testimony, then they would come to the conclusion, as I have, that we have a tremendous amount of data and analysis before us, that it's time to engage in the work that the American people are asking of us, that we hold a bipartisan dialogue, that we listen to each other's comments back and forth, that we listen to the questions posed about amendments and wrestle with how we could modify this bill further. And we can only engage in that process of considering amendments and having that dialogue when members attend to do the work that they were elected to do.